Very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued three decrees for this year. Decree number 13 renewed appointing Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman bin Muhammad Al Khalifa as the capital governor for a four year term. Decree number 14 appointed Dr. Sheikh Sabah bin Hamad Al Khalifa as Secretary General of the Constitutional Court. And Decree 15 stipulated subordination of the Tenders Technical Affairs Department to the Assistant Secretary General of the Tenders Board. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held today his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness who welcomed a wide range of visitors including members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council, members of municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists and diplomats accredited to the Kingdom. The audience expressed their appreciation of His Royal Highness's keen engagement with citizens by maintaining commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions and national identity. The attendees also commended His Royal Highness's efforts to reinforce the Kingdom's sustainable development under the development program initiated by His Majesty the King, as well as the government's efforts to deliver significant improvements to public services.
Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, and Chairperson of the Advisory Board of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today a number of ministers and supporters of the Bahrain International Garden Show in the attendance of members of His Majesty the King's Award for Agricultural Development. Her Royal Highness noted the wide participation of farmers and the diversity of their products. Her Royal Highness affirmed His Majesty the King's support to the Bahrain International Garden Show as well as the constant support of national institutions which participated in the successful hosting of the show. She also hailed the huge number of visitors this year and called on intensifying efforts to support the agricultural field in the kingdom. Her Royal Highness expressed her thanks and appreciation to all governmental and private bodies as well as to educational and civil society institutions for their support to the show. She also hailed the remarkable efforts of participants for introducing visitors with the latest technologies in the agricultural field. Her Royal Highness noted the efforts of the Bahrain Garden Club regarding spreading awareness of the importance of agriculture in the Bahraini society. Her Royal Highness then honored the winners of His Majesty the King's Award for Agricultural Developments. Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the 33rd session of the Arab Interior Minister's Council meeting, which was held today under the auspices of the Tunisian President Beji Qaid al Sabsi. The Minister of Interior delivered a speech during the meeting. In his speech, the Minister of Interior talked about the security situation in the Arab countries amid the current and dangerous situation that targets the security and stability of the Arab countries. He highlighted that Arab efforts for combating terrorism is appreciated but stressed that double efforts are needed to face such terrorism threat. The minister went on to say in order to achieve stability, joint and active measures are needed in order to combat terrorism and through having a comprehensive vision. The minister also talked about the Iranian interference in some Arab countries, including Iran's support for terrorism. He said that such interference is continuing through supporting terrorism and terrorist organizations. He added that in Bahrain, 
Bahrain Iranian plants to target the kingdom were foiled and Bahrain will not allow its security to be targeted. The minister concluded by saying that joint effort is needed in order to combat terrorism threats and he proposed the formation of a team to study the Arab security situation and to come up with suggestions and recommendations in order to achieve security and stability in the Arab countries. The Arab Interior Minister's Council meeting issued a communique under the title Tunis Announcement for Combating Terrorism, whereby it renewed denouncing all types of terrorism and its sources. This is in addition to denouncing the attack on Saudi Arabia's embassy in Iran and the inconvenience these Saudi diplomats and their families experienced. The Arab Ministers of Interior also denounced the kidnapping of Qatari citizens in Iraq and the Iranian acts and attempts aimed at destabilizing security and stability in Bahrain and some other Arab countries. This is in addition to denouncing the acts and attempts exercises by terrorist group the Hezbollah for the purpose of destabilizing the security and stability of some Arab countries. The minister also voiced a full support for the Arab coalition efforts aimed at supporting legitimacy in Yemen as well as combating Al-Qaeda, Daesh and Houthi terrorist militias. On the sideline of the 33rd session of the Arab Interior Minister's Council that is being held in Tunisia and chaired by the Kingdom of Bahrain Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met with Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Honorary President of the Arab Interior Minister's Council, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naib bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The meeting discussed Arab security coordination and cooperation to face security challenges facing Arab countries in line with the deep rooted historic relations between the two countries and people. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah commended the efforts of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in combating terrorism and supporting Gulf and Arab security. He also noted the importance of reinforcing joint cooperation towards further cooperation to unify efforts so as to eliminate terrorism and extremism ideologies. The Interior Minister also met his Egyptian counterpart, Major General Majdi Abdel Ghaffar, in which he highlighted the support of Bahrain to the security procedures taken by Egypt to fight terrorism and extremism to dry their sources. He highlighted that Egypt represents the strategic Arab depth through its supportive stance for Arab security and stability, asserting the support to Arab solidarity and the reinforcement of cooperation process in all fields, especially security. The Egyptian Interior Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's supportive stances to measures taken by Egypt to protect its security and stability and fight all types of terrorism out of the existing brotherly ties. The meeting discussed developments of security, cooperation and joint work. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah also met with his Jordanian counterpart Salam Ahmad, in which he stressed the importance of ongoing security cooperation and coordination between the two brotherly countries to tackle regional issues. The Interior Minister hailed the strong brotherly ties between the two countries in the eras of His Majesty the King and his brother, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein. The meeting discussed uh, the developments of security, cooperation and coordination and topics of common interest. The Interior Minister also met his Tunisian counterpart Mr. Hadi Mejdoub in the presence of the General Secretary of the Arab Interior Minister's Council, Dr. Mohammed bin Ali Kuman. The meeting discussed security, cooperation and coordination and topics of common interests. UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, paid a visit to Bahrain's Ministry of Education Pavilion, participating in the 8th World Education Forum and the World Expo Hardware. His Highness was briefed by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, regarding the educational services provided by the Ministry to the students in addition to the Kingdom's achievements in the educational field. Education Minister expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed on his visit, highlighting the deep brotherly relations between the two countries and said that it was a great opportunity to show the achievements and progress of Bahrain in the educational field thanks to the support of the wise leadership.
This is Bahrain. The international exhibition, which showcases the kingdom's rich diversity, has announced that it will become This is the Arabian Gulf at its next international conference in Rome, Italy, in the few months' time. Daniel De Porto brings us more in this report. The Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations, BFEA, has announced the details of its next international This is Bahrain event, which will be held in Rome, Italy, on May 27th. This is Bahrain began life in 2014 in London and has since traveled to Berlin, Brussels, Paris, Washington DC and New York, growing in size and success with each edition. In fact, the next edition will mark exponential growth as This is Bahrain is becoming This is the Arabian Gulf, with participation from all the brotherly GCC nations. Wherever we've gone, we have created an awareness not only of the Kingdom of Bahrain, but about this region in general. And so we've had many um, requests from our brothers and sisters in the GCC countries. And so we have invited them to join us this time because we believe that each of the six GCC countries has unique facets, you know, individual to themselves, which we were, we're happy to highlight and share with the world. But we're still one family here. So we want to show the unity and the harmony. And our message, of course, is one of peace and love. The Gulf area is the middle and the connection for Asia and Africa and Europe. And it's been like this for hundreds and thousands of years. So. The people in Europe, the people in America, they really don't know much of the people of the GCC area. So this is the time where we show that we don't have any discrimination against each other. One cornerstone of This is Bahrain's message has always been to highlight and further encourage the freedom of worship and peaceful coexistence that was enshrined in Bahrain's National Action Charter by His Majesty the King. And so the upcoming Rome edition will feature a new aspect, bringing together a variety of respected religious experts seeking to combat radicalization and promote peace. This is the Arabian Gulf. We'll have an exhibition and a conference as we normally do. But um, a new initiative uh, will be our inter-religious peace dialogue. And we will have um, very high-level key speakers from Italy, from Turkey, from, of course, the GCC countries, and um, delegates from around the world who are going to come together to listen, to share, to participate. Because the only way for the world to move forward and follow the example of the Kingdom of Bahrain um, is to uh, invoke that mutual respect. This is Bahrain becomes This is the Arabian Gulf on May 27th in Rome, Italy. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto.